Hey guys, Jerry here and welcome back to Modded Open TCD. Today I want to start out with um, not a brief apology, but more like, yeah, I need to tell you something that I screwed up last time, basically. I've been informed that I made some some of the wrong signals. Basically, I was control clicking, uh, trying to get from these guys to these guys, and I clicked once and only got to the one-way power signal here, whereas I was going to go to the entry signal. So I've been around the map and correcting all these, so thanks to whoever pointed that out. Um, that should hopefully prevent some issues. Um, so I think I have all my stations at a point now where they work rather well without clogging up. So that's good. Now, what I want to do in this episode here is... Let's have a look. I want to... What what do I want to do? I, sh I should have plan this better. Um, let's have a look around and see how we're doing on various things here. We have a bunch of alcohol here. How well are we actually doing? Um, supposedly there's not been any pickups lately so we're... I don't know, are we behind? Okay, th there comes the pickup train. Um, let let's make some more alcohol, that's always fun. So what else can we put? We can give them grain and manufacturing supplies. Manufacturing supplies, that, I think that's something we have not touched upon yet. And we have a lot of places which could actually use them. Like over here we're making farm and engineering supplies. And we seem to be doing rather well with those actually because... Yeah, stuff's being picked up and there are not four trains parked here permanently. So let us see, what, what makes manufacturing supplies? Sort by type. And then let's have a look through. Building materials, nope. Uh, milk, farm supplies, fish, food, wood, fruit, goods, nope. Glassworks make manufacturing supplies. That's one. And there's actually a glassworks right there. Um, what else? Just to kinda get through the list. I could, I, I've just realized I could, yeah. Metal workshops do as well. We have one there, which is close. Um, now, the thing is, they both require chemicals. Um, we can actually see display chain here. Select cargo, manufacturing supplies. So, metal workshops, uh, paper mills, plastic plants, glassworks, and recycling plants. All do them. I don't think there's any recycling plants at all in the um, in the game yet. Like we're way too early for that. So what we have instead, if we go back here, manufacturing supplies, I should just use this list. We have the glassworks, um, we have the plastics plant, which, why did I click on that? Um, glassworks, paper mill, metal workshop. Metal workshops need metals and chemicals. We're already using metals and chemicals to make farm supplies here. So if we could somehow get something that uses different resources, okay, metal and pet petrol, but we're using the chemicals up here so that's fine. If we could get something that uses different resources, like the glassworks for instance, um, then we could get sand and chemicals. And, well sand, primarily, because it, it produces most with sand. But then. Um, sand we can get from dredging sites, so something like this, they produce sand, and stone. So, and stone of course can be used to make even more building materials at some other plant. The other option of course is using a paper mill, which I think needs timber. Do we have any there's plastic plants there, plant fibers? We use those already, don't we? Yeah, we do, plant fibers down here. And they also want manufacturing supplies. So plant fibers are is out of the question, at least, because we're using those already. Although it does seem that we have quite a nice production of them. But then again, with the gung-ho production from uh, farm supplies down here, it's, it's no biggie really. But, uh, do we have any paper mills nearby? That's one. Clay, wood, and chemicals. 
And this one basically needs at least two, so clay and wood. Wood, of course, is not a big deal. I think we can get that directly from... Uh, that's a fruit. That, that's fruit. Um, I don't see any woods nearby then. But in order to get the most out of like a single resource, then I think the class works is what we want to do. So how can we get a lot of sand? That's a furniture factory. We have a dredging site um, right here. That gives sand, of course. But I'm also fairly certain that we've been basically putting uh, that we've been putting tracks right past um, a digger. That's clay. Okay, that's a clay pit. So you could be used for the paper mill right down there. Not there. There. No. There. There. Fifth times the charm. So we could put clay from up here all the way down there. And then get some manufacturing supplies out of that. Or we could take sand from here and give the there. Hmm. It's just, it's it's there's a choice here. I think the clay will be easier to connect because we already have most of the rails in place. Um this one is actually gonna be really easy to connect. So let's let's go with the clay. So if we make a path through here. We just need to be able to turn right, so right there, and then we need to remove the signal here and get a bridge across. Like that. And then we can just build a station. Very easy, very easy. Um, the main thing is, of course, do we want... No, we don't want root. We have root. So, yeah, we have a station here. That's very easy. It's just a couple of signals. Uh, so we have what, a normal block signal there, path signal, I don't know. Entry signal there, and exits there. Normal signals, of course, or path signals. Get those in, and that one's good to go. Now, we need somehow make a branch off to the paper mill here and we wanted to connect to this track over here so we could potentially just use the extensive mess we've already made here and then just expand upon that a bit I think I'm actually gonna do that so if we do this and remove the signal or move it rather so put it there instead then we can make a little road up there and then we just need a bridge from this uh, track here. Uh, which we could potentially put right there. Just connect that to that. And then finally... Just... Yep, yeah, that's gonna do it. Yep, yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Um, now the question is whether we can fit in a station on, on this little spot here. That's actually not really that, that optimal because we don't have the... Uh, there's no room for signals and such. So what we're going to do is flatten out over there. And then we just put the station over here. And have a little turn. Like that. To that and remove that. There we go. Beautiful. Now the main thing of course is that um, with this setup here, we don't have a... Um, I, I, I keep losing my train of thought here, haha, <laughs> train. Um, we don't have a way for trains to go, that comes from here, to go this way around. So we can't send them to the alcohol factory actually. Um, so I'm gonna have to remedy that somehow. And that means we need to make a sharp U-turn that goes up a hill. Um, so that's gonna be fun. Can we even do that? Oh yeah, we can. Pretty easily, actually. 
So we have trains coming that way around, uh, and they of course need a just a brief signal, just so we can so that we can let the trains behind know that they have passed through. And then we need to find a way to get from here to here, or from here to here. Like that. So yeah, that's that, that, that wasn't actually that hard. It, it gives them a bit of extra. Like this just looks like a mess. But from all I what I can tell, it actually should work. So the main thing is, can you get from if you come from here? Yeah, if you if you come from here, you can get into it. But if you're already on this track here, which you shouldn't be, then you can't. But uh, let's say we have the train coming from the uh, glass or the alcohol factory. So they come here, go in there, and then they leave here, pop, 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 and go out there. Yeah, that works. It should work. All right, so let's get the clay delivered. We have a depot there. That's not the right one. The right one. We can use. We can't use that one. What we can do is flatten out this bit and just put down depot here. It won't slow down anyone much. Whoops, wrong train. I keep forgetting we have new better trains now. We have these, which are awesome. So let us get a bunch of something that contain clay. These. Refit to clay, of course. Go. Full load there. And go all the way down here, give it to the paper mill. Now I'm gonna stop uh, telling people to go to depots because supposedly that makes them ignore every other depot on the way. So they never just service whenever they need to, they just service when they get to that point on their route and that sometimes apparently leads to trains getting stuck or trains getting a lot of breakdowns. We are not picking up a lot here. Like how, is th does this one hate us? Yeah, it does. It does hate us. God. But stuff's incoming now. Um, is this the only train picking up Superbeat? This train is stuck. Okay, so apparently I did not fix my signals. Completely. There we go. So we... Hold on. So we need to clone this train because we have not... We don't have enough trains picking up sugar beet from the, the farm over here. Uh, over where? Over... I'm getting myself lost now. There. So we need to clone the sugar beet train at least once. And that should hopefully end up picking up a bit more. So we have the clay, tra clay train. The clay train. And it's right there. Slowly picking up stuff. They want engineering supplies, of course, because they're digging stuff out of the ground. Once we get the clay down here, we want to pick up the manufacturing supplies and maybe the goods as well. And that means we need to add in more tracks to the station. Let's just get that done immediately. There we go, and some signals for that. Exit. Alright, this one can contain a couple of people loading as well now. So, once we get some clay delivered here, we'll have some manufacturing supplies, and the question is, who do we want most dearly to have those? Um, like, for instance, there is this one up here, which only uses oil, so we can't deliver anything there. Good. Then there is, um, of course, the food supplies here. Uh, which we're not really using that much yet. We have the um, other food, various food factories around, um, and we have the alum aluminium plant here, which doesn't use them either. Okay. All right, alcohol it is. So let us just immediately get a train going for that. Um, I think we need to use. We pretty much have to use this depot down here to make them. Since I don't have anyone else closer which can actually get up there. So, 
Uh, that's interesting. Do I put in a new depot then? Yeah, I do. Right, so let's get a nice train here. I really don't care about the running cost because usually it ends up paying off. So now we need engineering supplies. They go in the goods van. No, not engineering. Manufacturing. We're making glass bottles here. Um, how much would this one need to... Yeah, let's, let's go with these five cards full. Um, so you want to go here, and then you want to go down here. And we need to refit you, of course, to carry the glass bottles. Oh, that's very yellow. But go ahead. Very yellow. Mellow yellow. Alright, we have this sugar beet farm up here, which we're really not um, doing well to fulfill their needs for transport. So what we're going to do is we're going to clone that one and clone that one. And then we're going to scrap that and say new vehicles, one of these. And you should still have the same orders, yeah. And then we're going to scrap this one and buy another one of the good ones. Go. Beautiful, beautiful. And let's see, do we have any old trains by now? Mm. Sort by reliability. You are not very reliable. Is that because you... Yeah, you're one of those that take ages to load because the train has been stuck there. So I, I need you to delete these um, service orders here. Like, you've been stuck here because the one train delivering Sugar Beats has, has been stuck inside the station. So that's bound to happen, that he's, he ends up being broken. This one is pretty much already filled up those two extra trains that we put in. The shifts here are still transporting pretty much everything, yeah. And how about they're... Um, they're still... They're not breaking down, they're not... Like, they're just reliable, making lots of money for us. It's actually quite impressive that the sh shifts are the ones working best, because that's nev never been the case for me before in this game. Um... What kind of road vehicle are you? You're, oh, you're a real old one. Generic flatbed truck. You can carry wool. So we start. We need to start replacing vehicle. Those. With um, something that can also carry wool. Let's see. Is that a new, nice new one? 1950, 1948. Start replacing. And that should take care of all the old ones, actually. Um, yeah, that should take care of all the old ones. Now, I'm wondering why we only have, like, one of these. Um, but I'm tempted to just replace it with one of these, just because... Um, Just because that's what everything else is, but then again, he is a, one of the faster vehicles, so I don't think there's really any reason to do it. But yeah, the other ones there should be replaced because they've been... They should be decommissioned a long time ago. What is this? Classworks. Okay, so we have the paper mill here. Okay, I, I've been saying glass bottles from a paper mill, what the hell? It's just the labels. Um, do we have any news from this guy? Uh, we've picked up a full load. I don't know if there's gonna be enough for two trains. I think that's this guy. Yeah. No, that's a grain train. Then where is the clay train? Is that you? Uh, yeah. Okay, that's the one. How much is she carrying until 270 tons? 
And let's see, he's just about halfway through his route here, and we have nearly a full train full of stuff up here. Um, I think we need two trains, so let us clone him and get that going. Now, the other thing that they want down here is wood. Do we have any good woods nearby? Sort by... Tybia. Okay, who produces wood? Where do we get wood from? Forest, of course. So, wood. There we are. 170 tons wood. That's a lot. But that's also quite far out from anything we have. Um, but I think he might have like had temporary increase. But he does. Yeah, like he's fall he it's falling now. It's dropping. This one up here uh, produces quite a bit actually, and it's not that far out of the way. So it would be rather easy for us to set up a track to go up to him, and then they can go this way around, all the way down. So yeah, I think that's going to be the mission for next time, because I am running out of time. You guys are getting bored with me now, because I have... I've been way too flustered this episode, or confused. So... Oh, come on. It's really only made... 19 crates of stuff? With that entire train full of... Ah. And they also have a bit of goods that we need to deliver somehow. But I'm thinking maybe a couple of vehicles going across, picking that up. Road vehicles, carrying into the town here. Yeah. But again, for next time. So until then, I'm Jerry and this has been OpenTTD. Bye!